Let's try another problem where we use this idea of this data table for different times or learning rates. Let's do problem E7. I think I'll uh, copy this sheet, create a copy, and I'll call this, uh, e, this sheet E7. And we don't deal with the uh, cost in E7, and I think it's only the uh, we only go through seven. I can't. I can't delete just a part of this. So I think I'll just get rid of this this data table. Try to. There's a data table, and I'll just do it over again. So in problem E7, the time for the first unit, they're building a compressor, and they want to know. Uh, it took them, I think, 115 hours. 112 hours on the first compressor. And they know from experience that they have a 90% uh, rate. And they're interested in how long will it take them to do the next seven units. So I'm interested in the cumulative time for units <clears throat> two through uh, seven. So what I'm going to do is create a data table for uh, seven units. And I'm interested in the time. This is the time uh, that I'm interested in. So I'm going to put this into here and this into here. That's a data table. So here's a data table. I go to data table. I'm going to put that column of numbers into uh, there. And I get these times. And the question asks, what's the time, if it takes 112 for the first unit, how long does it take to do the next seven? Well, what you have to do then is take this cumulative, but it includes the first time, so I have to subtract out. So this is the time for units two through seven. And that's, a, that's what the uh, E7 is asking for. 